Attorneys in the Darley Routier case back in court today. She's the Rowlett mother, if you don't know, sent to death row more than 20 years ago after her two young sons were murdered. But this time, defense attorneys and prosecution were on the same side, and they're trying to stop a teenage crime sleuth from getting access to trial evidence. Robbie Owens, live tonight at the Crowley Courthouse in Dallas. The, the word in my head the whole day has been interesting. <laughs> yes, on all sides, Doug. It is absolutely unusual to have defense attorneys and prosecutors agree. But in this case, both sides are arguing that a death penalty case is no place to indulge the public's curiosity. For starters, I believe Darley's innocent. In my opinion, the evidence is lacking to support a guilty verdict. Ryan Kester speaks with certainty about the Rotier double murder although it happened more than a decade before he was born. Essentially, it is a curiosity, Your Honor, at its root, but uh, this case is very, very important to me. It's I important to, to you, why? Kester, a 16-year-old college sophomore, is fascinated with crime stories. He says he's been working on a documentary on the Rattier case for the past four years. He went Can to I court asking for access to original evidence in the case, but the judge wouldn't budge. Uh, we are still having DNA, uh, samples and things tested uh, and we don't want there to be uh, any mishaps as a result of uh, unknown uh, bodies uh, handling this material. After all, two lives were lost and another is on the line. Darlie Routier remains on death row. That's really the point. If this was uh, you know, is the marijuana in the car uh, still around? Let them look at it. I wouldn't care. State wouldn't care. But this is not that. Stay free, stay free. Just last year, supporters gathered at the courthouse steps, insisting that further testing of the evidence will one day set Rautier free. I'm disappointed in the court's ruling, but I am grateful that she provided me with an avenue to view the exhibits through the court reporter. Now, Kester says his interest in the Rautier case made him want to be an attorney. But he's not going to drag this particular fight out any longer. Live in Dallas at the Frank Crowley Courthouse, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.